A year ago, he was under fire as world financial markets melted down in panic. Now, Fed Chief Ben Bernanke's got another four-year mandate from President Barack Obama. Ben approached a financial system on the verge of collapse with calm and wisdom, with bold action and out-of-the-box thinking that has helped put the brakes on our economic freefall. Bernanke's a Republican Bush appointee. A 55-year-old Harvard and MIT-trained economist, he cut his academic teeth studying the stakes that caused the Great Depression. A darn good thing, says the president, who says his actions prevented a repeat. We have been bold or deliberate as circumstances demanded, but our objective remains constant, to restore a more stable financial and economic environment. Bernanke, who still must be confirmed by the Senate, has plenty of critics, and not just among Democrats. Some say the meltdown started because he was asleep at the switch. There'd been speculation Obama wanted his own economic guru, Lawrence Summers, to take Bernanke's place. Aides say ending that speculation's a big reason Obama interrupted his family vacation on Martha's Vineyard to give Bernanke a fresh vote of confidence. It's a positive step both politically and economically. From an economics point of view, Ben Bernanke is the best qualified person among the pool of candidates that were being discussed. And politically, with the larger bu budget deficit numbers coming out, and the difficulties regarding health care, making this announcement at this time works in Obama's favor. Mark Smith, The Associated Press, Oak Bluffs, Massachusetts.